C2 Power has a rear 8 megapixel camera and has a small flash. And uh, on the front, we'll find a 5 megapixel camera for shooting selfies. Doesn't have a wide angle, but uh, still the camera is uh, okay. Let's start up the application. So the application starts up after a second and a half or maybe a little bit more. And the first snapping is instantaneous. Maybe it takes a second to store the photo and it has an autofocus. Both front and rear camera have autofocus. Uh, you can switch to the front camera just like this. So you have a direct key for that, which is good. Although I think that those virtual keys uh, here are too small, they could have been bigger. And you have a direct flash key and HDR. And for some more advanced settings, uh, you have panoram, so you have to be uh, very steady for a panoram. And uh, you have some effects if you want to play with the camera, which is just nice. You can change the exposition, white balance, the ISO. Uh, but this is too big and these icons are too small, so uh, this is not for the advanced users. Uh, it's not easy to use interface, I'd say. So it's just, you know, point, point and shoot. The front camera can like uh, recognize your age and gender. Uh, it says 30 years old and it says I'm a guy. Okay, I am 29. Wow, that's great. Uh, so we had a lot of fun with that. And uh, uh, our guy with long hair, it said that it was a woman. Uh, you'll have fun with that. Photo quality from the rear camera, 8 megapixel, is pretty good, it's decent. As you can see, this uh, is a sharp image, it's well stabilized, uh, you can see all the details. If you crop this part, you'll be able to see these people, you can recognize them, okay, uh, they're really far away. But if you have kids or your pets, they'll be good, they'll be visible, so the photo quality is pretty good for family usage. But as you can see, this part of the image is burned, this one is too dark. Uh, so it's not a higher quality, it's below mid-range quality for smartphones, but it's a, it's a pretty usable uh, quality in daylight conditions. You have a problem if you have a direct sunlight, this part is burned and the exposition is not good. This is the difference between expensive and uh, less expensive cameras on smartphones. This is uh, indoors. So it's a good, it's a clean photo, you know, just basic photo. It's not a superb quality. Details are not great, but usable photo. You can see what you need to see on the photo. In low light conditions, uh, it has problem with out of focus. So you'll have to shoot more images. And this is with flash. This is without flash. So it can be usable, but you have to hold your hand steadily. You have to have a longer exposition and then you'll get a usable photo in low light. But basically uh, this camera provides good photos in daylight, but not in low light. Video from the uh, rear camera is only VGA resolution and it's, you know, for basic stuff, maybe for Instagram, but it's a low quality video. Uh, it's good. It's not terrible. It's not uh, destroyed, but it's not uh, even mid-range quality. In low light conditions, video again is, you have more noise and it's not stabilized well, but uh, video again, it's usable, but it's, it's not some decent quality. Photo quality from the front camera in daylight. You'll get pretty decent photos. This one is blurry, but if you try one more time, you'll get a clean, nice photo. This part of the image is a little bit burned, so part of my face looks burned, but it's a clean, nice photo, uh, very usable. Again, the background, the sky is totally burned, and here, here it's a little bit better. Uh, so I look good, I think. Everything is sharp, the colors are good, but this part is totally burned. You'll get pretty nice, decent selfies, but it's not an awesome quality. But it's very usable, very good for Instagram and stuff like that. And for this price range, it's a good camera. So in low light conditions, you can 
maybe adjust the photo a little bit but you can see basically just the shadows it's not a terrible quality it's not like full of noise just you know for some basic usage if you really need to shoot photos uh, outdoors you should uh, hold your hand steadily uh, and then shoot and then maybe you'll get some usable photos but basically uh, photos in daylight are very good and in low light they're not something special video from the front camera you can shoot it in only VGA resolution which is a very small resolution the video in daylight is good like photos uh, it's pretty usable but the resolution is really low so maybe for Instagram it'll be good but for some other stuff not Uh, in low light conditions, uh, video is you know just some basic usage if you really need to shoot video, but you cannot see yourself. So in the end, uh, the rear 8 megapixel and the front 5 megapixel camera give pretty good photos, pretty usable photos uh, in daylight conditions. If you have a dog or a pet, uh, you'll be able to get pretty nice photos. If you want to shoot selfies all the time in daylight, selfies will look good. But for low light conditions and for video shooting, uh, forget about it, uh, you should better get another camera. Thank you guys for watching, hope I helped you with this video and see you some other time, bye.